this phase of the game, Ireland's best might yet yield a goal. Quinn, Andy Townsend, still battling on. Looked like a handball, and that's how the referee saw it. Now, was it inside the area? And he says no. I don't think there was much doubt about that being a handball. The only question there can be, was it inside the area? McGrath beginning the attack. Andy Townsend at the end of this flick from Quinn. Out came Tyshenko. He was outside the area. Fair enough, referee. But what a position for the Irish. The Soviets have everybody inside their penalty area, as big a wall as you'll ever see. Seven in it. Stolton and Townsend together. Seven men protecting the new cap goalkeeper. Stolton, it's there! And Stephen Stolton separates his tenth appearance in the green shirt with his very first goal for his country. A brilliantly contrived free kick, a over the wall, around the tallest man in it, and into the corner of the net that Uvarov had not guarded. As sweet as a nut from the Dundalk lad, and it's Ireland 1, Soviet Union 0, right on the R. Luty, the tallest man in the wall, was guarding supposedly Uvarov's top right-hand corner, but that was precisely where Stolton put the ball, and the net was unguarded, and that is 1-0. Brilliant Stephen Stolton, and a goal the Irish richly deserved.